Hello, hello everyone. This is Adam with PsychedelicInvest.com. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful end to your week. Um, we're not really ending on the best note here. Uh, we had some hawkish remarks from our, my best buddy, Jay Powell. Uh, and basically, uh, the markets are starting to uh, pull back a little bit. Uh, I mentioned this in the weekly extractions that we did earlier in the week where I just think things are going to be all over the place for a while now. So my overarching sentiment for that video was take profits, everyone. You can't go wrong taking profits, especially with these early stage biotech companies. They're not generating profits. They're pretty far away from FDA approval. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into things, uh, in this episode of weekly extractions. Okay. We got news out of the mind med camp here. Uh, so mind med announces first patient dosed in phase two B trial of MM-120 in generalized anxiety disorder. So let's read into this. The initiation, the initiation of our phase two B clinical trial, the largest well-controlled clinical trial of LSD ever conducted represents a major milestone for mind med and for many patients suffering from, G from GAD generalized anxiety disorder. The, the exciting next step in the advancements in the advancements of LSD builds on the positive top line data presented by our partners at the Uni University Hospital Basel in May 2022, which demonstrated the rapid, durable, and the statistically significant effects of LSD and its potential to safely mitigate symptoms of anxiety and depression. The results of our Phase 2B trial will guide the dose selection and development strategy for our pivotal Phase 3 clinical trials as we continue our efforts to bring a new potential treatment to the millions of people living with GAD. So this is great for my med investors. Nice to see things progressing, patients being dosed uh, regarding LSD for general generalized anxiety disorder, uh, between me and you guys, it's pretty effective. Uh, I, I, LSD happens to be, um, my psychedelic of choice for microdosing. Uh, actually like for the last year, it's been my, my psychedelic of choice. Um, prior to that, I was using a lot of four ACO DMT, which is essentially psilocin. Um, and I would use which I always mention on here, uh, 4-H-O-M-E-T and 4-H-O-M-I-P-T, both very empathogenic, uh, interesting psychedelics in, in it of itself. Um, but anyway, so LSD has been my microdose of choice for the last year. Uh, it has been phenomenal. Uh, I like, L I mean, in terms of anxiety relief, uh, it's, it's very significant. And it's not just that it's, uh, the therapeutic benefits, for example, it's binding to receptors and it's helping relieve anxiety that way. It's also in terms of the perspective shift that I get when I'm microdosed on LSD is just the things that would, um, that would, uh, ooh, that would inspire or, uh, cat catalyze an, an, an anxious response from my body. Um, because of the perspective I get on these microdoses, uh, I don't get nearly as anxious. So, uh, so basically, if when I'm not microdosed, for example, uh, if event an event happens that's going to spike my anxiety or something like that, it usually will, and that happens. I process it and it passes. Um, but it can take a little bit of time because when we have these, uh, when we get caught caught in our feelings. When we get caught in our feelings, guys, it's hard to break out of that. So now what LSD does here is it basically, it almost lets me zoom out a little bit and have more perspective in terms of uh, what's bothering me, what's causing this anxiety. Is that even real? And uh, it helps me move past it that much more efficiently and quickly. So it's not necessarily going to cure anxiety here, but it's going to enable the people who are being dosed with this uh, psychedelic to bring themselves out of uh, an uh, anxiety-like uh, feedback loop um, more easily. I hope I explained that well. 
Um, but yeah, that's why I love LSD as a psychedelic, as a psychedelic for therapeutic purposes, as a psychedelic for non-therapeutic purposes. If you want to go see music, it is phenomenal. Um, but very happy to see MindMed doing, uh, getting things started. And yeah, let's, the MindMed saga is going to be so much fun to follow. I cannot wait to hear more updates regarding anything about the company in the near future. All right, guys, on to the next. Okay, so we have our, cur this screenshot is courtesy of my good friend Control Plus Z. Thank you very much, sir. Um, so basically what we have here is ARC has started adding Compass and they continue adding a Thai Life Sciences. So what does this mean uh, for uh, both of these companies? So in this screenshot, you just see a Thai Life Sciences, but uh, they sh sh Kathy Wood has also been adding Compass as well. So just more confirmation bias for us in the psychedelic sector. Whether you're bullish on Kathy Wood or not, um, the fact that she is a, a figure within investing, she's, she's, uh, what type of figure? She's just, she has a following. She's very polarizing, but it, everything she talks about gets like, people will read about it, whether they like her or they hate her. So with that said, I love that she just keeps adding different psychedelic plays. I think it's, she, I wouldn't be surprised if some at some point down the line she uh, kind of separates psychedelics from the from the geno genomics uh, ETF and it either has their own ETF or she lumps them in with something else, it would be really interesting to see how that works out. Um, but that's just neither here nor there. Essentially, she's adding a tie and compass. I would say good job, Kathy. Um, uh, she's doing phenomenal. Um, keep adding a Thai compass. Uh, maybe you want to add a little mind med. Maybe you want to add a little siphon. Maybe you want to add a little field trip. Who knows? Who knows what's in the future for these companies in terms of Kathy Wood's ETFs? But the writing on the wall here is that it's very clear that she's pretty optimistic on psychedelic biotech companies, psychedelic medicine in general. Um, I can't wait for them to release. Uh, the info on the deep dive they, they they've done on the sector. I think once you can kind of glean uh, what companies they're they're eyeing here in terms of what they've been buying. So we have Compass and we have Atai Life Sciences, but just more great confirmation bias for the psychedelic sector. It, it's we're going to be in uh we're going to have a very volatile market for the next. I think it's going to be at least ten months. Um, but. Long term, I could not feel uh, happier about my positions in the psychedelic sector because generally uh, the community keeps growing, uh, awareness of psychedelics keeps keeps growing. Um, we're so many of us are using psychedelics every day, uh, not every day, just using them therapeutically, using them non therapeutically. Uh, we understand them. We understand how effective they are. We understand how safe they are as well. Um, so. It's just an exciting time to be a psychedelic investor. And uh, yeah, so on to the next thing. All right, and what we have here is, I just wanted to highlight uh, Bright Minds uh, Biosciences here because they have that little bit of a pullback, but they are they are still looking very, very, very good. Um, so once again, if we have to speculate on what's going on here, is it a merger and acquisition? Is it just big pocket investors buying shares? Like this volume is is significant this volume is very very significant compared to the volume they had prior to this run uh it was bit essentially like they were they had no volume and now the volume is is extremely extremely significant so there has to be a reason for this i want to hear the community's thoughts on this what do you guys think is going on with bright minds what's happening here i have no clue if i had to like i said in the last video i think it could be a merger and acquisition i think it could be uh an institution loading up bags who knows but i'd love to hear from you guys what do you guys think 
Okay, everyone, and this is the end of today's episode. I'm trying a little, a little bit of a different format here where I, I make the videos shorter, essentially, and then we kind of release them uh, more frequently throughout the week. So let me know. Give me some feedback, guys. Let me know how you guys like this. Do you like the longer format videos or would you like shorter format videos uh, with just more releases throughout the week? Uh, I take all, you, all your feedback to heart, guys, and I really, really appreciate all the support. You guys have been amazing. And I feel so honored just to have like just to have you guys supporting me. It, it, it really uh, warms my heart. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. My name is Waxing Eloquence, W-A-X-I-N-G-E-L-O-Q-U-E-N-C-E -E -E -E, on Reddit and Instagram. If you guys want to email me, my email is the great wave within at gmail.com i know it's a long one it's t-h-e-g-r-e-a-t-w-a-v-e-w-i-t-h-i-n at gmail.com feel free to email me with any questions cons comments criticisms whatever you want uh if you want to talk psychedelics if you want to talk investing if you want to be on this channel reach out to me if you have a message that I want that you think needs to be heard by the psych psychedelic community come on this channel I'll have a talk with you if you are a part of any of these psychedelic biotech companies and you want a platform where you can reach more retail investors or talk to them please feel free to reach out to me if you want to be on this channel um, I hope you guys appreciated today's episode uh, this is Adam and have a great day